Here's a 1957 Voice of Music, or VM for short, a little consulate hi-fi record player that I picked up at the flea market. This is a model 562, one of their better units. I think it cost $159.95 in 1957. I have not opened this unit, but after I got it home, I got my nose a little bit too close to the insides, and I detected that unforgettable burnt power transformer smell. If you've ever smelt it, you'll never forget it, and nothing else smells quite like it. So, let's open this up and see what's going on here. Even if it is the transformer, I'm going to try to restore this because the cabinet is in relatively good shape except for looks like something got spilt on top of it. Hopefully I can get that off. And on the front we have a neat little feature here. You can actually load records up and close the lid and reject the records by pushing this little button right here. Okay, here's the amp chassis, and from an audiophile standpoint, the tubes in this thing are probably worth their weight in gold, if they're any good. We have a Mullard 6AU6, a Mullard 12AX7, and two Amperex Bugleboy EL84s. This rectifier is a replacement Sylvania, and this power transformer is emitting a foul odor. It's not looking too good. And it looks like a mouse has been nesting in this thing at some point. Might even find the dead mouse under here once I get it all apart. Okay, here's the underside of the the, amp, the amplifier chassis with a big blob of a melty, melty wax there. Here's our filter capacitor that you can see the end is kind of swollen and blown out. So now we'll take this in the shop and analyze it and, and try to discover exactly what went wrong with it. And looking at this capacitor, it's date coded 1962 and you can see it's tied in with a piece of string so obviously it's been replaced at some point in time. Okay, we have our audio output transformer out of the way and you can see more wax. And I followed my nose and the, I'm getting the most odor from the power transformer. You can see there where you can see where the wax was dripping down the leads. And here's the filter capacitor cut out of the set. You can see where it looks like it had a meltdown too. However, I will go in the shop and analyze this on the capacitance, on the capacitor tester and just see how it tests. Okay, I'm testing the 40 microfarad 450 volt section. We're just barely getting some eye movement with the power factor knob all the way up, which means high ESR. Now, mind you, this is a 450 working volt capacitor. And at 200 volts, you can see the Light is staying on a long time, which means we have some leakage. At 300 volts, it's staying on even longer. So yeah, it appears that this capacitor is most likely what took the transformer out. Pretty much the same story with the second section, high ESR and prolonged leakage lamp illumination. Okay, third section appears to be even worse. I'm just barely getting any eye movement with the power factor knob all the way up. And this one's not showing, well, showing a little flash there, which is normal as far as electrolytics go, but it shouldn't stay on that long. And the fourth section, getting a little bit of eye movement, but not much.
that's only at 50 volts applied to it. See how long it took the light to go off? Yeah, this section is really bad. Now here's a 47 microfarad, 450 volt, nice fresh modern capacitor. We'll be using four of these to replace this old bad boy here. Now I want to test this on this same tester and show you the difference. Now keep in mind before, in order to get any eye movement, we had to have our power factor knob all the way up. And the higher this knob is, that means, that means basically in modern terms, the more ESR you have, which is not good. And remember how long the leakage lamp stayed on. Okay, here we are with a new cap connected, and notice how, how wide the eye is opened and how sharp and defined the opening is and also notice we have our power factor knob at zero the way you check for ESR is you advance your power factor knob for maximum eye opening and actually when I start to raise the knob the the uh, eye opening decreases so this cap is good in the power factor department or ESR in modern terms now let's test for leakage See how quick the light went out at 50 volts, at 200 volts. That's the way it's supposed to do. I'm going to make sure we discharge this capacitor. And now we're testing the 6CA4 rectifier tube. And it's also toasty. Notice the short lamp staying on. My theory on what happened is this filter capacitor shorted, overheated, ruptured, drew too much current through this 6CA4 rectifier tube which caused it to short and in turn drew too much current through the high voltage winding of the power transformer and away it went. No need in even testing this tube for emission. Just for the heck of it I'll move it to position 7 which is the second section okay the second section is not shorted but it's also ve reading very low emission too so yeah we need a new power transformer a new filter capacitor and a new 6CA4 rectifier tube the thing was glowing bright there evidently we had a filament to cathode short there and that's the reason the tube was glowing so bright in the tube tester so yeah, we need those three items, and then we will most likely add a fuse to the center tap of the power transformer. In case this should ever happen again, the fuse will blow before it wipes out an expensive power transformer. Now I was going to put power to the primary winding and let you see a, a self EOLing transformer. I know Shango 066 has been waiting on me to blow up something, but... The primary winding is wide open on this transformer. All the rest of the windings have continuity. And here's the chassis. Obviously with the transformer removed, you can see all of the wax that accumulated right there. And just one final word before we end this video. Generally these old power transformers are very reliable. Most of the time they don't burn up on their own. Now, of course, there are exceptions to the rule, but usually when a power transformer burns up, it had help. And in this case, the thing on the left caused the thing in the middle to short out, which blew up the thing on the right. Okay, when I get a new transformer, or one that will work, we will continue this. Thanks for watching, and more...